which are some of the <clears throat> NDT schemes, certification and qualification schemes that are well known in Canada? So primarily Canada is CGSB, Canadian General Standards Board. And that is our, uh, that is our certification scheme that's modeled after ISO. Okay. So in Canada, if you're doing work for uh, an entity service company that does work for uh, like an Acuron or a team or a Metalogic, right? Uh, then you're, you're, you're probably a CGSB certified technician and you're doing work at say Suncor or Imperial Oil or, or you know, Tabasco, what have you. Um, so CGSB is the number one. Uh, if you uh, have a phased array ticket or TOF ticket, then of course CGSB doesn't have a, uh, a certification program for that. So uh, okay. they, they usually accept PCN or CSWIT. Um, offshore, they will accept uh, usually uh, CGSB level twos or PCN or CSWIP. Um, so those are your common ones. Okay. Um, to my knowledge, I think there was some work to try to get some reciprocity between uh, Canadian certifications and uh, some other ISO uh, countries and their certification schemes. I believe there was talk of uh, us offering a reciprocity with Australia. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what the status of that is yet. Um, but yeah, that's what I know about that. So uh, when you say reciprocity, so let's say someone has ASNT or SNT TC1A, okay, in-house um, certifications. Now they want to work in Canada and they, 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 they're they they looking for a job or whatnot. Is there, what like to in order to get a CGSB certification when you already have an SNTTC hours and qualification, is there like only additional requirements or you have to start over again with your 40 hour training and everything? Um, I think depending where you got your training, uh, your SNT training, uh, it may be partly or fully accepted. I think it's on a case by case basis. Um, oh, okay. CTC one a is primarily a, um, it's a company program. Right. So like, we have that in Canada, but it's, uh, like if you work at the, I don't know, some, uh, steel mill, uh, they may S and T their people. Right. Uh, and so when that person leaves his certificates only good for working at that steel mill. Correct. Right? Uh, so, but the training that they got that to, to, their qualifying training for that, uh, that SNT ticket may have been given by say Mohawk right? college okay. in Hamilton or was sorry, Cindy, which is at Mohawk or Durham or Nate or Sate, Right. So, um, they may qualify, uh, or, or this, uh, the syllabus of whatever they studied may be accepted by, I see. by NRK. Okay. So it's, it's case by case. So you, you have to write to CGSB and see if they, if they they are going to tell you whether it's accepted or you got to go through some additional requirements. Yeah, I would say it, for the for the most part, the SNTs wouldn't be transferable to CGSB. Uh, even if they even if the coursework was, you'd still have to uh, complete the record of um, the record of experience. You'd still have to do all your government exams, and that stuff doesn't happen overnight. It can be uh, typically from you know course time to completion of all your exams. It could take six months or a year, depending on whether you have to rewrite anything. Okay. Got it. 